Let's unbox a Chips and Les Paul Greeny. First of all, if you get a chance, please subscribe right now, please, with sugar on top. things you'll notice is this is in a rectangular box which is strange uh, every one of them that I've seen have come in these triangular boxes kind of shaped like a guitar and wrapped in this yellow tape very tight over straight styrofoam so this just got in I have no idea what we got what we're gonna see I saw the example of when I, what I ordered, so let's see what, what we come up with. Uh, more styrofoam, of course. Kind of expected it to be probably stuffed with. It is. Okay, well it kind of looks like the ones that you get with a triangular box inside of it. Oh wow, as you can see, there's the greeny. And, of course, it's truss rod adjustment, yep, and a cheap cord. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> they use lacquer. Wow, they really do use lacquer on these. I can smell it. I hope it's dry. Let's see what we got here. Get this cheesecloth. Oh, okay. They put some kind of a sticker on the headstock, which that, I guess that keeps them from getting snagged at customs. I've watched enough of these Chipson videos, these fake Gibsons, and I've noticed that, oh boy, you can still smell it. Yeah, wow, they actually use some kind of satiny lacquer. Looks like uh, that's actual relicking. That's not fake. It's not smooth over that. Get my camera. Eh, that's okay, Job. That looks more like they might have put some poly on it and used a razor around it and chipped it off. I can feel it though. Hmm. Front is definitely lacquer though. Let me get a uh, close up for you. Okay, I have seen a lot of these. The relic job is okay. I can feel the wood has been swollen a little bit. They dirtied it up a little bit. They kind of, same thing around the pickup. Feels the same. Look at there. <laughs> they used an almost correct bridge with a small pin. Got the, uh, Volume and tone knobs like the greeny and uh, They oh wow look at there They they did this correctly usually on a greeny you have to spin this pickup around uh, Okay, very cool. Very cool now as far as the edge Looks like they pretty much left the edge alone on the relicking they didn't Yellow it looks just in that one spot. They did it. That's strange. Uh, checking the fret ends. Very, very nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very nice uh, fret end work. No sharp edges poking out. Not bad at all. It definitely doesn't have a broken neck. So, as you can see here, boy, that that open book shape, man, that is close. Got the two screws instead of the three. They have gotten better at that. Those look like Grover tuners, but I'm going to flip them over and they'll probably be, I'm guessing, the fakes. 
but we'll take a look at it. Fretboard nice, and I can't believe they actually flipped this pickup the right way out, out of phase for, you know, Kirk, you set this guitar, how he plays it, he sets it in the middle position where both pickups are fired up, and it gives you some kind of a strat type sound to it which it does. There's a uh, YouTube short where he plays it, where he features that part of the greenie. So, all right, here it goes. Let's, let's look at something that'll be sort of revealing here. Let's look at the, uh, yep, Grovers. And they're usually, and usually are pitted or these are actually not pitted. Hmm. A little closer on those. No? Not too bad. Hmm. No, those aren't actual Grovers, but they're they're close. Now the serial number. Wow. Now, they usually get the font way off. Of course, the made in the USA part is a little too spread out. But the font is almost on the, the, of course, they stamp them way too deep. You know, that's one way you can tell. Gibson themselves do not st stamp that deep into the wood. But the China ones do. And usually the font size is way off in the spacing. But this is pretty close. The USA part. Whoa. Lost my, lost my focus. Uh. See the USA part, they put the dot in it and they spaced it out a little bit too much, but that, mm, that looks a little uneven, but feel, let's see, fit and finish on the, looks really, looks good, looks good, fit and finish, looks fantastic. It's a nice job, and always over here, they usually, eh, eh, this is a relic, so, so a couple bumps on it here and there aren't gonna, aren't gonna matter. This thing needs to be a little bit more relic. There's got the little cheapy jack on it, that's kind of expected, and it does have a couple of bumps on the back. Kirk's is actually more scratched up with deeper scratches, deeper belt wear marks on there. I could actually get this better relic. But anyway, let's take let's take this thing apart. Of course it's got of course it's not in tune. That's got nine that's gotta be nines. Yeah, that's that's those I think they it came with nines. And let's before we do that Let's see what's under here. We always know. Just a sticker. Huh. Eh. Pretty good. It's got no coloring in it at all. It's straight white. There's no but. Yeah, it's an inlay. So CNC machines get a lot of this done. That's cool. I'm uh, I'm I'm pleasantly shocked. Yang Shan Guitars. That's where this came from. That's the builder. Uh, the poker chip, of course, is supposed to be just blank. But a lot of people say, "I got to order a po poker chip for it." Eh. But what you can do if it's good enough, you just flip them over, and they're blank. It's amazing how that works. Oh, the nut. You can see where the the strings are a little bit deep down in there. They could have rounded this off a little bit doesn't doesn't appear to be a bone nut it feels plastic kind of expected that could be an upgrade somebody could do on this along with ordering some greeny style pickups of the 59 les paul you know i i would do that probably change the bridge make it correct all right, let's uh, check and see. Make sure there's no reflections. There isn't. Check and see what we got under the hood here. 
This is one where if, if you slip a little bit and gouge the back of it, I don't think it's going to matter. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. I was totally maybe expecting the bigger pots. Some, I've, I've watched videos and they have the bigger pots. This has the small, cheaper Chinese pots in it. That's a little bit of a disappointment. But then again, something that isn't that expensive to go ahead and upgrade to. It does have a little cheaper jack in it. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and... Eh, eh, switch wise. You can see that's not a bad one. Uh, looks like they misdrilled it. Over and over. No polishing dust in there at least. At least that fit tight. Switch is okay. It's not the best in the world, but definitely not the worst. These usually work pretty good. Now we're going to... Now we're going to check out the pickups. I'll speed up through this part. All right, there we go. Now, let's look. Let's check out these pickups. That's okay. Wow, thicker than what I thought they would be. Huh. We'll check the ohm readings here in just a minute. Bridge says 10.4. This one says 10. Well, let's take the ohm readings. Okay, so we got 11.77 on the bridge. And 9.03. Then, one we want to see, the middle. 510. That is, that's pretty close to a strat reading. We'll have to see. All right, let me get this thing back together. I will leave the link to this actual guitar I bought or at least the person's store um, I got this on eBay and you'll be able to copy the link and, and get to that particular one if you are searching for something like this uh, my final assess I get this about an eight and a half out of out of ten the pickup sound good um, I wouldn't say they're the best but they sound good it would be okay to just leave these pickups in there. They sound, they sound good enough. The frets, as far as uh, scratchiness, the fret ends, even though some of the machining tool marks are still on there, it's still, they're not sharp. They made, they knocked off the sharp edges, so you don't have a problem with that. The fake Grovers are a little loose feeling. Uh, you know what I mean? It seems like they have a little bit of play in them. When you're tightening and then you go to loosen, there's there's just a little bit of internal stuff going there. These are definitely not real Grovers. Um, the bridge seems to be pretty stable. I would go ahead and up, upgrade to a Gibson bridge. The pots, go ahead and change those out and get you a little bit better switch. You know, but overall, the relicking, do a little bit more work to the relicking, and I'd go ahead like shellac. The outside of it, give it just a little bit more sheen. There, this thing is completely flat. I'd give it a little bit of shine, and shellac would work great for that. Go ahead and relic the back side of it a little bit more, a little, a couple gouges in the back. If you're wanting to imitate Kirk Hammett's guitar and just just have it 
Of course, you know, I don't plan on selling this thing and uh, I'm just gonna hang on to it. Um, I plan on upgrading it. I don't know how far I'm gonna go. Definitely new tuners as soon as possible. I got it to stay in tune with these and it, it wasn't that they wouldn't stay in tune. Tighten the ends really tight and, and the, they'll stay in tune a little bit better. You can't, that it does stiffen them up when you, when you tighten the end screw right there on the tuner itself and that does help it out but anyway please like and subscribe and all that notifications comment below uh i know i'm going to get some haters out of this because i actually paid money for this one but uh, anyway that's just the name of the game and that's how it goes thanks for watching y'all be cool